right, today we're going to be going up to uh, one of the greenhouses that we put up and uh, get them a whole bucket system, just a 10 bucket system. Uh, they needed just to get a 10 foot piece of 2 inch PVC pipe, schedule 40, and a 10 foot piece of 1 half inch PVC pipe, also schedule 40. Okay, here we are. Beautiful small farm they've got up here. There's the two greenhouses we've put up earlier and we're getting ready to put in their 10 bucket system. All right, so this bucket system is really, 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 really simple. And if you can get the buckets, you guys are lucky. You've got a Menards up here. Best place to buy them. They're all food grade. We're gonna take them, we're gonna drill each one of them about two inches up. Because that way when the water comes in, we'll have that much water in each one to be able to wick up in between water. So it'll keep them watered all the time. Okay, and what comes with all of this is a whole box of everything you need to put it together. These are even all pre-cut. Is this a kit that you put together yeah, yourself? Yeah, a little kit we put together. Sweet. We've got um, all the grommets, all the adapters, all the 90s, and again, we buy these all in bulk so we can get them really cheap. Mm -hmm. And then we can just put these together in a kit. And so the kits actually just come with that. They come with all the other hoses that we need. Put the whole system together. Comes with the inserts for the buckets. Okay. And, and these, these just go here. Like that. You put, your, you, put your in there. you put your pool light in. So you get nothing out your drains that way. Then also, if you need, let's say you're going to change out a plant, take your plant, get it out, you can just take this out, or wash it off, reuse it. Or you can take the whole bucket out. It has to be above the, the sump, right? Right. Okay. Now we can dig that sump in and right. leave these down. Or what we've been doing, this is even easier to work with, you know, rather than getting down oh, on yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. Put them on cinder block with a couple of 2x4s. That's all you need. You don't have to get fancy at this. Okay. First step is get your bucket about two inches up, one inch hole saw, center it in, and drill your hole. Okay. Once you have your hole drill, just get it nice and even, get any of the little loose ends off. That way, it, when you put the grommet in, it won't leak at all. Next step is take your three-quarter inch grommet, work it in. And that's that. And we're ready for the next part. Okay, now that we have all the buckets done with their grommets in, next step, cutting ten pieces of one half inch PVC. You can use just a small hand cutter. You can use a circular saw, whatever, but favorite tool I just found is Milwaukee tool. Awesome thing. Just don't get your thumb in the way. Or you'll, you'll have finger food. But they're awesome. If you don't have a lot of PVC to cut, uh, these not too expensive PVC cutters. Make sure you get the kind that can go for two inch and real easy to cut the half inch. But uh, if you have a lot, I suggest getting that other tool I was using. Right. You can see why this is one of my favorites. One more trick on this is take this, we want to bevel this edge. You can use sandpaper, whatever. You're going to use cinder blocks anyway. Just a little scrape on the edges. And it'll bevel it so it'll go into the grommets a lot easier. So after you have them beveled about like that, just clean them off. Dip them in water because it's a lot easier. And then we'll slide them in here. Okay, once they're ready to go, wet them and then just work them in, just back and forth a little bit until they 
have enough inside so you have that getting these in is probably one of the hardest parts about doing these buckets there's a couple tricks one make sure the ends are beveled so they go in first wet them down and then you can heat this with a heat gun or a hairdryer enough don't melt the bucket they'll go in pretty easy and then put them in squeeze them in and on the inside hold the inside part of the grommet so it doesn't push in and then work them in and that's that's it the elbows out next one half inch and they just go on like so and there's no need to glue there's no pressure you're not gonna have to worry about leaks this is not for your head FYI anyway next is the netting that goes inside of the bucket and you just put it on it's elastic put it over the edges and we're ready to go and fill up with perlite and we will rinse the perlite right in here until the water uh, goes clear and we'll show you that next I think the chickens are enjoying watching us don't you yeah so what we're gonna do is fill these up with perlite then we're gonna rinse them until they're clear when they run clear out of here we're done ready to go put in the system so, uh, we were scooping them in Way too slow. I hate slow. So, pour in the perlite. Into each bucket. This is the, just the fastest way to go. And I don't think you need to see me doing this all of them, but make sure that the wind isn't blowing the powder back into your face. Because that white look just isn't that good. And it's not really good to breathe anyway. Randy's lovely assistant and wife, Jill. All you need to do is rinse with water, soak it, and when it starts running out here, wait till it runs a little bit clear, and you are done. And by the way, the longer you let them drain, the lighter they are to carry. So just let them drain out, be a little patient. Go have a nice tea or sandwich or something. Oh, it's my friend Brent. Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is their small farm, homestead, etc., etc. You Randy name it, they've got it. systems are the best. Oh, thanks, 100%. man. I've paid you enough to say that. Yes. Huh? Cool. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to be setting up the buckets in here, so we'll just figure out where they're going to go. We've got a lot of room to work with and a lot of different growing systems that we're going to be putting in here. It's going to be awesome. But we're going to put this one right here along this wall. So we'll set up the blocks where we want them, put a couple 2x4s on, and then we'll set the buckets on them. Uh, since this one is without the loud coat, <laughs> thank goodness it's a little warm. Anyway, set up your buckets how you want them, you know, wherever you want to put them. Any configuration at all, but put them out first so we have the exact length that we need. Set your cinder blocks down, and then we'll put a couple of 2x4s on, we'll set the buckets on them, and then we'll set up a drain system. It's nice, you can use pretty much any boards you got laying around. Don't waste any money buying a bunch of stuff. Have your boards up here, buckets ready. Just set them on here, fairly even spaced. Move them afterwards, doesn't matter. Once we do have them in place though, we're gonna mark the drain, drill the drain holes, and then we're ready to go. Ricola! Are we ready yet? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> we're gonna be putting the drain together. 90 degree piece of two inch. I had to cut, cut this in half because it had to fit in my small car, so otherwise I wouldn't have to use the little connector. But it would not fit, didn't have a truck. So, what? Go on, move on, move on. All right. So, place the block here, that elbow under the first one. If you have a single piece, you don't need a sleeve. There. Elbow here. Now with the drain pipe in place, we're going to mark it right underneath the line centered underneath each spout. And then we're going to drill a one inch hole in the PVC at each mark and hook up for the drain. 
you know? It's your personality in there. You're it wasting makes it, my battery. Those, those I'm wasting her battery, so she said. <laughs> okay, back to this. This stuff's so dry, usually. <laughs> no, this is wet, usually. Anyway, so, pulsa, one inch at each mark that we marked, all the way along here, and then we'll put it back up, and it'll be all lined up, perfect, ready to go. These pipes, so they fall down, maybe about a quarter down to a third down into this pipe. So we'll attach it here and they'll go into this hole. Now that we have it all drilled, it's time to just set it up underneath. And here we go. Have one person at the other end, kind of with the lower end, and line them up as he raises it. And we just line them all up in their holes. That's the fast way we could do it just with individual buckets. Next step is we're going to hook up the pump, all the tubing, all the adapters, put them in, and then the next step is plugging in the pump and it runs. So, okay, in the pump box there's different adapters. Use the half inch. If you don't want to measure it, just see which one fits. So there you go. Don't forget the washer. Screw it on. Really good tool to hand. Hand tight. Done. Put it in the bucket. And we're ready to run our tuba. Okay, when you're putting this in and there's water, don't be in the bucket when you're plugging this in, all right? Just saying. There you go. Thanks, Brent. <laughs> okay, with the half inch tube connected to the pump in the, in the bucket, just lay, lay it out. As you can see, there's plenty, so you can do any kind of situation you want. And now we'll add in the adapters. Okay, so with the hose here, get about the midpoint. Midpoint of the bucket. Just cut it. Scissors, pruners, whatever. Okay, after you cut it, put the adapter in. Push it in all the way, both sides. And move on to the next one. Same thing. Cut. Oh, my finger! Okay, just kidding. Next adapter, we do that all the way down the line here. Now this tubing really does cut really easy with the scissors. We just happen to have a little pruning shears handy, so that's why we used it. All right, with all the adapter tees in place, these are all pre-cut in the kit. They just slide on the third piece. And what you want to do, make sure they're on good, is set them down in. This will keep the algae down once they're down in like that. Okay? So, and it will do this all the way along the way. To keep these in place, you can use just clothespins or uh, I, I found that the, 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 the springy type tomato clips work really well. These are the little tomato clips we were talking about to hold the tubing to the buckets. Reminds me of a little Pac-Man. Alright, an alternate method to the little clips is you can just intertwine them in the handles. And that worked really well. This way you've got all the feeder lines down underneath here to keep control over any top algae. You'll still get some and it's not a big deal. Anyway, there we go. One of the things I forgot to say was on the very last one of the adapters, the T-adapters, we have to stop the water. So your last piece slides on, fold this over. You can use a rubber band, a zip tie, and you can even use a twist tie, but just to stop the water on that last piece. All right, so the last step is marking the top so we can cut slot for the drain and for the pipe and for a cord. And that way, when we need to add water, we could just take this off and add water, make it real simple. So all I'm doing is marking where I need to cut this and how far. It's right here. And that'll cut the drain. Well, after we cut the top of the, the sump tank here, this is what it looks like. You've got your cutout where this goes. A little slot for the 
hose here and a little slot for the electric cord. That way when you go to refill and top off, this just comes right off, right back on. Now there's little tot tabs on here. Cut those off so you don't have to keep them playing with that. Anyway, that's that. One thing you do want to make sure of is that there's a fall down this way because we <laughs> opposite direction won't work so well. Make sure the drain, so you have maybe half a bubble or so, it can be more, but just make sure that it drains downhill this way. Water doesn't like to drain uphill too well. Plug the pump in so all these are running. And now it'll just flow through and we're done, ready to plant. Okay, Randy, so what's gonna happen now? Well, besides me spraying you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Filling up the tank. We will put nutrients in here. The pump will pump the water up into these buckets, into the perlite, with the nutrient water. Master blend. You can get it at completegreenhouse.com. Anyway, um, then this will drain through, drain under here, come in here, back, one system, one pump. Now this pump's going to be on a timer two, three times a day, depending on the time of year, etc. Um, you can watch the plants if you want. You can keep them on all the time, too. So it's how will I know? How, how will I know what to do? Okay, now that the bucket system's all set up and you are ready to go, you're going to say, okay, now what? All right, we'll show you different germination techniques, what really works the best on this bucket system. Um, just all the little tips and tricks, the nutrient mixes and everything else. So until next time, look for this next video in just a day or two. You can use these bucket systems just about anywhere on your porch, you know, uh, just on a balcony. We've got somebody growing just on balcony now, which is fantastic. So they're not just for greenhouses. And the sun is set on another project. It took about an hour and a half. Oh, plus about four hours of just having fun. One more time, we'll just go over what actually comes in the, the box, the kit, to do any of these bucket systems. We've got plenty of tubing to do any kind of configuration you want. All the inserts. You've got a Eco 291 pump. You've got a hollow Titan timer. This box with all the small stuff is all your feeder tubes, all cut to size. You've got all the T adapters. You've got all the rubber grommets. And even the one the one half inch elbows. So you know if you do need more of these, um, just let us know how many and we can put together a separate box for you if you're doing 20 buckets or 30 buckets and you only need these kind of pieces, just let us know. We can take care of that. <laughs> and to help you be successful right from the beginning, we're including a, a box of the three nutrient pack of the master blend and calcium nitrate and uh, magnesium sulfate. Well, here at uh, Greenhouse Solutions, we like to keep it simple, keep it sustainable, keep it affordable, and most of all, keep it real. So until next time, over and out.